Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, looking at another large block transport ship. And this one that I'm currently standing on is called the Dragonfly class transport, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a hydrogen powered ship that has enough fuel in its tank to be able to take from space to planet, and of course enough to be able to move you around from station to station, get your passengers wherever they need to go. As for passengers, it can carry up to 16 people sitting down, but you could always have a lot more standing up if that's what you want. And of course, if you do not wish to have any kind of passengers on this ship, it is very easy to refit this thing with more cargo containers, so you can carry a lot more stuff from A to B if that's what you're after. Do ignore the gravity generator on the ceiling, I had to place that myself, because this does not have one by default, and does get very wonky when trying to walk around, and you randomly start flying. But pulling away from there and pressing F10, finally in the spawn menu, the Dragonfly class transport is 547 large blocks using decorative block number 1 and number 2 and Warfare 2 DLC packs. We've got a nice lot of information about it on the Steam Workshop page, including the lore behind the ship. So just go and give this thing a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, with a quick look around the outside, a quick tour of the interior, then we'll fly around for a bit, and that'll be that because it's very self explanatory with what this thing can do. So at the very front, what we can see is a bunch of glass window blocks appear inside to our cockpit we've got our standard flight seats to drive this thing around. Right below there, a couple of hydrogen thrusters help slow this thing down, and surrounding all of that where I'm standing, we've got some grey and red steel blocks. If we were to move around onto this side, whoop, that's a bit fast with the camera, we've got some rusted steel blocks, because this is a bit beaten up, and could use some repair here and there. Yes, along the side, we've got some windows pier inside at our passenger bay, where all our seats are sitting, a bunch of freight crates, if you saw a few bits and bobs inside, such as some power kits some food, or even some ammunition. And over to this section, we've got some piston heads for some more decoration, a blinking red light, and over and towards the back of this thing, we can see our hydrogen tanks, another hydrogen thruster to help on our left and right. Then at the very back, we've got two large hydrogen thrusters, which should give us a nice lot of speed while driving this thing around. The hydrogen thruster has been covered up by some window blocks, then right in the middle is our connector to dock this thing up, and of course to refuel it. If we were to move all the way up and above, first of all, Looking down, that is our air vent to suck in oxygen from the surrounding areas and to refuel your tanks. We can see the top of our hydrogen tanks and the thrust has been covered up by some armoured panels. There's an access point if you want to access the cargo containers from the outside. Then going along in the middle here, we've got a couple more hydrogen thrusters help move us down while in space. Towards the front there, some interior pillars adding a fake antenna. And that's where I'm standing at the front. Dropping down and coming underneath past our hydrogen thrusters, there's our O2H2 generator with a conveyor connecting up to the main body of the ship. Along the main body, if I put my light on, there's a doorway to get in and out of this. And over to here, some more hydrogen thrusters to move us up, while on planet and in space. Another connector to dock this thing up, as well as a magnetic plate, so if you wanted to, yes, if you wanted to, you could do like the previous video, and have a payload where you can attach it up onto that, and connect it to the ship, and drop it off wherever it needs to go. And there we go, that is that for the outside the Dragonfly class transport, and does look great with how it's been set up. It's a very simple design overall, but it does look great with how they've used all the different blocks and skins, to give you that overall great design. So now what I can do, just grab hold of my character, we can drop down underneath the ship, and come into that doorway. So there it is, right there. We've got a double door for an airlock, but I've accidentally left one open. There is no time block, there is no script to close these automatically, so you have to do them manually. And we're instantly greeted by a ladder to go all the way up. I just jet back to the top, and there we go. Now we are on the inside. If I just move myself into the corner, this is what we get. Yes, we've got a bunch of chairs all the way around the outside of the room. We've got a bunch of freight crates in the middle. If you were to turn around and look behind, we've got some access points for our cargo containers, so we can see exactly what's in here, and of course we can drop stuff off if we need to. As for the rest of this, we don't really have too much. But we do have one hell of a lot of small cargo containers on here, so we can carry a lot. And of course we've got our auction tanks, our O2 H2 generators, a bunch of hydrogen thrusters, our hydrogen tanks, and then there is everything else. Guess just walking around this room, there's our chairs to have a little sit on. We get a good view out the window, and we still have a bit of rusted parts here and there. Looking all the way up, of course we can ignore the gravity generator that I placed myself. That is the lighting we get. There is a good old passenger, which is just the cockpit horse. And towards the front, an LCD screen, where we've got some advertisements being displayed. Just above that is our O2H2 generator, so we can repair it up if we need to. Then coming through this doorway and closing up behind me, this is our main cockpit, where we also have our kitchen table to cook our food. 
and then on the opposite side there's our table to eat our food, and of course you have a little meeting to discuss where you're going. So what we get at the front are two flight seats, a little light, and an air vent to make sure you don't suffocate. They're just looking around the room here, do have a fantastic view all the way around the front. And now what we can do is just turn around and get into this flight seat, because this is your co-pilot seat, where you can't actually fly the ship around, and we have absolutely no controls. But if you wanted to, you could have controls for the connectors down here to say have the switch lock. You could have controls for your hydrogen thrusters, turn them on and off, and put it into a cruise control. Have your hydrogen tanks stop power on and off. It's all up to you. If we come across over to this one, we have one singular control, which is going to be for the interior lights on the inside on and off. And so there we go, that is that. So now what we're going to do is fly this thing around, and hopefully the horse doesn't destroy the inside. So moving forwards, as you expect, we've got some fantastic speed thanks to those two large hydrogen thrusters. Coming to a stop, we are a little bit slower, but it's still pretty damn good at the end of the day. And if that's not good enough, we just about have the gyroscope controls to do a 180 to slow ourselves down a bit quicker. So we're going to test that out, all the way up to 100. There we go, flip ourselves all the way around, boost forwards, and there we go. So there's no risk whatsoever of crashing into a station, provided you do have enough time to do a 180. Moving left, and moving right, we're a lot slower than forwards and backwards. Moving down, a nice lot of speed with that, and then moving up again, some nice speed with that. As you saw from the 180, we've got plenty of control over this, and there appears to be a space pirate in the distance. Yes, plenty of control over this, it's quite heavy, very meaty controls, but still rather light for this size of ship. So the final thing to do would be to find those space pirates, which I believe in that direction, and we just slam this ship straight into it. And we can just about see the horse flying around on the inside. Let's go and check out what he's doing. And there it is, trying to get into the cockpit. And here we go, there is the space pirates. Unfortunately, I can't zoom in because there is no camera. We're going to charge straight into their wreckage. And that'll be that for this poor little ship. That's actually quite a big wreckage, but here we go. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. That was a lot bigger explosion than I was expecting. And it looks like, yeah, we've lost the complete front of the ship. The horse is gone. Goodbye, Harold. We hardly knew ye. And, well, most of the space pirate base has been destroyed. It still seems to be pretty salvageable. If you aren't quite handy with your tools, you could always strip this all down and refit the front of the ship and fly away. But yes, that is that for the Dragonfly class transport. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with yourself. Highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.